Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2014 set 3 guys. The given question is consider the following relational schema. Okay, so this question is also having two tables. Okay, and they are saying a sales representative ID. Okay, so that is available in this table. Sales representative ID is a foreign key. Okay, so if it is a foreign key from where it is related guys. Okay, so it is referred. So I think I should read the question first, right? So sales representative ID is a foreign key referring to employer ID. Okay, of the employee relation. Okay, so assume that each employee makes a sale to at least one customer. Okay, so what does the following query do? Okay, okay. So let us go through the query. So select employee name. So we are trying to select employee name. Okay, so that's what every one of them is saying. Okay, so till here the every option is same, right? Yes. And we are checking where condition where not exists. Okay, so it's not exists. Uh, select customer ID from customer where C dot sales representative ID is equals to E dot employee ID and C dot rating. So whenever you see this symbol, this is nothing but not equal to symbol, guys. So in SQL we cannot write these type of symbols, right? So that is the reason why not equal to is that symbol. So not equal to good rating. Okay, so indirectly what we are trying to get here guys, so we are trying to get the customer IDs whoever did not give good rating, right? Yes, so other than good rating, whatever they gave, so all those customer IDs we are collecting here. So customer IDs where rating is not equal to good. Okay, so now what we are doing, we are checking where condition with not exists. Okay. Okay, so indirectly what we are trying to perform here guys, so we are trying to get all the details, okay, so here not equal to good, we are eliminating them, means which will be left guys, so we are trying to have whoever gave good rating, right, yes, so that is what this whole statement is doing, right, yes, so whenever we are, they are using this not existing, work in the reverse way guys, that will be really easy, so as they told it is not equal to, so indirectly this will result in equal to, so whoever customer IDs are equal to good, we are going to uh, get those IDs and those IDs are mapped to some employee, right? Yes. So those employee names we are trying to print. So whoever is having good customer review is what, right? Yes. So option A says that name of all employees with at least one. No. Option B says that uh, at most one. Okay. Option D says that none of them are good. Okay. So option D says that name of all the employees with all their customer reviews having good. Yes. So that will be absolutely true. Right. Because whenever we are checking this particular condition here, we are checking the rating is not equal to good. So indirectly, if at least one of them is not good, they all will come here. Right. Yes. And opposite of that is uh, at least one means uh, indirectly all are good in other cases. Right. So that is the reason why to, if it, if we reverse it, we get all good ratings only. Right. Yes. So you understood, right? At least some idea you got, right? So if you want an example, so assume that this is our uh, salesman one and this is a salesman two and this is salesman three. So he got all bad reviews. Uh, he got only one good and he left all are bad. He got all good reviews. So who will pass this particular case guys? Uh, so here, what we are doing uh, here, we are checking. Uh, a particular customer, each customer, sorry, customer by customer, we are checking whether that rating is not equal to good or not. Okay. So here we are checking those customer IDs who are not equal to good. Okay. So here we are having one not equal to good. Here we are having at least one not equal to good. So these two people will be selected. So S1 and S2 will be resulted here. So now in our whole company, there are only three salesmen. So now who are not existing in S1 and S2 guys. So the only one is S3. So if you observe S3, S3 is having all good ratings. So that is what it is doing. So that's what it is doing. Got it? Yes. So you can take examples in this way also. Okay. Yes. So now you understood, right? So how exactly we can solve these questions? Right. Okay. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. Huh? So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.